Hi everyone, my name is Cody McCall. I am the North American Operations and Customer Success Manager for Green Valley International. And today we will be doing an unboxing of our newest terrestrial scanner called LiveGrip H120. In the box you will receive a quick start guide along with the packaging list and the factory acceptance report. We have a battery charger that's designed to charge three of our self-developed batteries, which one of them is here. The other one is within our data logger, which is also the battery compartment. So you have one in there. We have our power cable, which just connects the power device to the physical grip. We have our Wi-Fi cable, which is how you will extract data from the device, along with the ability to use a SD card to extract it. A camera extension cable. This is what is used to extract the camera image files from the device. We have a strap. This is what you would use to strap for, to both sides of the data logger and so that you can wear it over your shoulder. Here we have just the battery plugs that are designed to charge a battery. And then we have the physical light grip device. This is a handheld terrestrial unit. It uses the HASI sensor along with an Insta360 camera. This gives you a 360 degree spinning LiDAR sensor. Protective cover. And that's pretty much the setup for the light grip. Hi, so what you see here is the contents that will come with the purchase of the light grip. Now we are going to set it up to begin data collection. First things first, attach the strap to both sides of the battery compartment. This allows you to carry it on your shoulder. Next step, we'll be connecting the power cord to the front main port, red on red, and then to the light grip itself. Again, red on red in the back. From there, we'll go ahead and remove the protective cover over the LiDAR sensor. And this would be your pretty much setup, getting ready to collect data. The next step would be to power on the device. One short press, one long press. Short press, long hold press. The device is now turned on. You can hear it as it kicks on. And on the back of the device, you can see that there is a flashing light. At this point, if you are not using the app to power it, you will go ahead and power on the camera by pushing the blue button. You'll hear the camera kick on. And from this point, you just wait the initialization that it will go through. Once the light starts to go to a slow, flat, uh, steady flash, you'll go ahead and hold it. During that time, it will begin to do an initial mapping of the surroundings. It's about a turn and a half. Once that happens, it'll slow down and you can go ahead and hit nothing else on the camera. You'll just uh, wait for the slow flash. Once the slow flash occurs, then you can go ahead and begin your data collection. Once you are done collecting data, you will hold that same button until it becomes a slow flash. At that point, it'll start to log and save the file. And then from there, your data has been stored. So now we'll go ahead and push the button, hold it until it becomes a fast pace. This will be your initial uh, initialization. You see as the device does its first initial spin, then you will hear a click on the camera as well that lets you know that you are recording on the camera as well. Once that occurs and this light on the back has slowed down to a slow flash, you can begin your collection as stated earlier. That was the noise of the camera clicking on, letting us know that it's recording. And then once the device starts spinning and the device, the green light on the back slows down to a slow steady, slow steady pulse, we can go ahead and begin our collection phase.